Hey everyone and welcome. Peace is what we're all aiming for. Not anymore. And I do believe that we have rock, rock, rock kicks, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Seems to be that peace is the last thing on the agenda. Now this was the UK Prime Minister and the US Vice President calling the war in the Ukraine a, are we ready for this? Global war. So they're actually admitting that they see it as a world war, everyone. So be prepared for the draft coming. Now this is on top of the UK also being the very first country to send Ukraine long range missiles. Why would they need those if it wasn't to attack Russia specifically, which would then drag us and NATO and Europe into a war while America sit back and rake in the profits. Telling me that that's not what this is. Now at this point, I'd like to say, why are we not suing for peace? Ukraine are getting the backsides handed to them. We are being lied to on a daily basis by the media saying that they can win. All the while, Ukraine people are spilling their blood all over Ukrainian land. Absolutely disgraceful. Not one, not one leader in the West is trying to de-escalate. Every single one of them is quite happy to escalate until we're all involved. Rishi Sunak, a prime example. Have a listen to this, everyone. Together, we're delivering as much equipment in the next few months as in the whole of 2022. And together, we must help Ukraine to shield its cities from Russian bombs and Iranian drones. And that's why the United Kingdom will be the first country to provide Ukraine with longer range weapons. Now, let me just say this at this point, everyone. You don't need long range missiles or long range weapon systems to protect a city. You just need protection in the city. Do you not? Another lie. And it's why we're working with our allies to give Ukraine the most advanced air defense systems and build the air force they need to defend their nation. So there you have it. Let's not forget everyone, Rishi Sunak is an unelected, unelected, completely unelected. Even his own party didn't have a say, which is extraordinary to say the least. Some might say it was a coup d'etat. The unelected bureaucrat that is our prime minister doing whatever is necessary to suck up to the war machine. Now, this is only going to lead to one result. One, Russia are just going to decimate whatever we send, just like they've been doing so far. And two, he mentioned an air force. Now, our planes are incapable of being flown by Ukrainians, which means our pilots will also have to be sent with them. Absolutely shocking. And they're lying to you on a daily basis in the mainstream media and on these stages. Absolutely shocking, isn't it? He's also going to be sending more stuff than he's already sent in the entire time of the war in the next month. This is in the cost of a living crisis where everyone's worrying about eating or eating, where everyone's worrying about the cost of inflation and how much all of our goods are costing and how fuel is costing and our gas and electric is costing across the board but he's quite willing this unelected bureaucrat to gift our money to everyone else but you great isn't it when you realize that your leaders don't lead they just scoop and skim and manipulate not one sue for peace disgraceful i won't fight when we've not even attempted peace it's just that simple stay sane see you on the next one